Hi, in this video we're going to give you a quick overview of the new Windows 11 Photos app. So if you've been using the Windows Photo app to view your pictures in the past, you'll notice it looks a little different. Um, and then depending on which build you're, of Windows 11 you have and when you're watching this, you may or may not have the new version yet. So if you have the 22H2, you probably have it already or should be there soon. So when you open the Photos app, you notice you have this little sidebar here, you have a search box, and you have some options here, you have some settings, import, and so on. So by default, it'll load your picture from your uh, pictures folder. So this computer has one drive, so it has two pictures folder, or, or used to have one drive on there. So you could either click on a folder and view just the uh, pictures in that folder, or from all photos, you could view all the photos in all your pic folders here. And then you notice, too, that you have a filter option. So let's say you have photos and videos. You could click on this and do, let's say, just videos, just one video here, and then you got that. Or you could do all photos or just all media. And then, of course, you could do external drives if you want to load that. And if you have pictures in other places, uh, you could right-click on folders, add folder, then you could browse. So I have this uh, other one here I was going to add, desktop backgrounds. So now that automatically adds the pictures in that folder to your existing folders when you're on all photos. And then if you're logged into your OneDrive, you could have it uh, view those photos as well. And then you could add pictures to favorites if you want to do that. And if you want more room, you could shrink this down like that. So I'm recording at a low resolution here, so uh, that's why everything looks kind of large. Then you have your sort options here. By date taken, recently added, date modified, name, ascending, descending. And you have your view here. It does this river view by default, which kind of uh, sizes pictures based on their aspect ratio. But you could have them be all one size like that if you want. And shrink them down even more if you want. Then you have your three dots here to select all, select none. And if you, know, if you want to you know, select pictures, you just got to click on each one. And then you could also right-click on them, open print, copy, copies path, share. Rename, open in File Explorer, view in the Folders folder. So if we have just one, let's say, view in the Folders folder, Photos folder, then that'll view everything in that Photos folder for cars. And let's say, let's go back, open in File Explorer. Then that'll open your actual File Explorer folder for that particular picture. And then you got your search in here too. Let's see a uh, dog. I don't know if this will find anything. Okay, so found dog based on the file name most likely. And then for your settings, you customize the theme. If you don't want the uh, dark theme, you could do light, uh, show gallery tile attributes, ask for permission for deleting, turn on or off OneDrive, mouse wheel for scrolling, Privacy, and if you want to open the legacy photos, then it'll just take you to the Microsoft Store, and then you could download it from there if you like the old one better. So it's not too bad, you know. It's not a whole lot different, but there's some additional features and settings you could do to configure it. The search option is nice, and so on. So, like I said, you may or may not have this. So when you open photos, if you kind of have this look here with the uh, folders on the side and so on, then you'll know you have the uh, new version. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.